and we're live. Welcome to the Redbeard Show. Thanks for tuning in. It's a beautiful day. It's the week before 420. Having fun in the shop. Here by myself for now. Got a few guests lingering in the wings and uh, having a lot of fun. Today's episode is called, what did I call this episode? This little piggy stays home and gets baked. It's gonna get baked right here in my kiln. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. I, I haven't done much prep work. Um, let me show you the sketch of the piece we're gonna make. Whoa! And one of my special guests has taken a fall. We got a little fella in the shop. He's a tough guy, he'll be all right. You all right, Will? Oh, you'll be all good. So I made a few rough sketches of what we're up to today. Just kind of, actually these are my girlfriend's sketches as well. Just showing uh, kind of my thought process and getting to the pig. So this is what we're up against. I'm going to make a pig that's holding a bong and is smoking his bong. And thus we will smoke the pig as he's smoking the bong. Make sense? I hope so. All right, well, let me check on the chat. Chat, can you tell me how the sound is today and make sure we're all on the right camera? Camera one, camera two. Oh yeah, we're on the right camera. Uh, and let's see, there you go. Chat's all good, I guess. Someone's in there asking about, uh, what are you asking? A tutorial about beginner equipment. Well, uh, I've covered a lot of that on previous episodes, so I hope you've watched all the shows. Beginner equipment is uh, the same as expert equipment, but a little bit cheaper. So look for beginner equipment used. You don't need the fanciest stuff to learn this trade. And uh, may I recommend the, the, the forum online that taught me the most? Talk Glass Forum. So Google that. There's hundreds of tutorials in there. Great people to talk to and associate with. So check that out. All right. So. I'm going to start by dumping some uh, pink frit inside of a tube, and that's this is going to be the body of the pig. So I'm just going to get started on that. I'm just going to dump some frit in and heat it up. And while I do that, I'm going to push play on the old CD here. For today's episode, I want to play you some Tall Brothers music. And uh, we'll tell you a bit more about the Tall Brothers later, but you check out this track and tell me what you think. right next to the stereo, so tell me if it's too loud. There was a time when I smoked any kind. You'll try anything when you're young to get high. Yeah, like a fight. Now that I'm wise, there's this one type to buy. That changed my life and truly satisfied. I'm talking about
let's shape it into the round body of the pig. A fat pig. A pig with bacon on him. Maybe I'll pause this for a sec. So I was on uh, YouTube checking out some of the old videos and checking out the comments on the videos and it came to my attention that some of my videos aren't able to be played in the States. And I hope that gets corrected by YouTube and I guess they didn't like the uh, this copyright infringement with the music playing in the background like I am here today. So I don't want that to happen again. So I will try my best to take steps so where it won't happen. So what I've done today is trying to decide how do we get around this, you know? So better than calling the attorneys, I thought I'd call Tall Brothers themselves. So here today on the show, we've got Bill Small from the Tall Brothers joining us with his guitar and his lovely family here as well. And uh, I'm stoked. I've had a great time. I just bought the CD. Can I show the CD on the camera here? I got this CD last time I was in Vancouver from David Malmo Levine's uh, the museum, the herb museum. So I know they're out there. Where can people find this CD? Online. Online. Check it out. Tallbrothers.ca. Tallbrothers.ca. So thanks for joining me, Bill. How you doing, thanks man? Good I'm great. Okay. Pretty nice that you live just up the road now. Yeah. Pretty stoked. We share similar interests in farming. Absolutely. And similar tastes in music, as it turns out, too. So uh, I know uh, my partner's noticed I've been playing this CD pretty much non-stop since I got it. So I'm really happy that you're here, man. So will you, will you play us a song sure, today? Uh, sure. Cool. I'll play uh, an old Reaper song from the 19, I think it's 1928 or 29 maybe. From a famous Broadway show called Ain't Mr. Haven. And uh, it's tuned by uh, Fats Waller. Jive talk is all that, uses the code language and all that 
all the jive hip guys back in the, in the 20s, Cal, 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 all this, but they all use code names for stuff, right? No doubt. So like, code name, like, T, that's a nice code name. T, let's go have some tea. You know, you don't, nobody suspects anything. Or Muggles, that was a favorite spot of Louis Armstrong. He even wrote a song called Muggles. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, Gage. That's another one. Gage. Gage. Grass, of course, there was no that one. Yeah. But, you know, that's been around for a long time. They they, they call it that, and that's the way they do it. Call it ground. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, well, while you were singing, I was working, too. And I just got the body of the pig. Awesome. So... I think we'll make this the tail end and we'll make this the head end. And let's just, I'm just gonna do a little adjustment here. I think pigs naturally look like sausage already. <laughs> I wonder if they get made into sausage. Look at that thing. Oh yeah. So earlier today I posted on the old Facebook that I'm gonna make my first ever pig online live on Pot TV. Um, I'm here to now announce I lied. I made one this morning. I had to do it. I had to practice one. I've never made a fucking pig before. I didn't want to look like a total ass live on TV. So, and I, this is the part that I just tried out this morning. I wasn't sure how to make his head shape. So, anyway, I don't have a lot of experience on this pig field. So, if it's ugly, there's my disclaimer. So all I'm doing is just pulling that one side down. I want that to come down like so, off axis. Now I'm going to heat up just around the snout. I'm going to pull the snout out now. It's just a matter of manipulating or heating up the glass you want to manipulate. So here I'm just going to heat up that snout. And again, I'll pull it out just a little more. Slow motion process here. It's not a hard pull. I'm just tugging on it. All right. So, did y'all enjoy that music on the chat? I hope you did. How's the sound level? Got, don't need a mic for this guy. That's awesome. You know, I've never listened to Sinatra ever, but I imagine he had. You got a voice like him on some of your songs. I noticed. Just smooth, like it's a very nice voice you've got, my friend. I, I have been referred to as Frank Sinatra on Pond. Ha! Totally! It's totally it's, true! It's quite flattering, actually, I think. Yeah, you know what song uh, reminds me of that? I think it's the one, You Get Me Too High. Yeah, is that one we should play on the CD? Or sure, on the sure. Guitar? On the CD, All right, sure. let's check what number it is. So this next song, so while we play this next song off the CD, it's called You Get Me Too High, the Tall Brothers, with Bill Small in the house. I'm going to just finish shaping the snout, so you can watch as I do that. I'm going to blunt up the end of the snout here. I'm going to add some ears and his eyes, and, uh, and then we'll get on to the legs. All right, so let's skip ahead to what number did I say? Number 10. And yes, I am using, oh, I don't have a skip button. How great is that? I'm on an old DVD player. It's got play, stop, open. Shit. Well, how about track two? My baby loves to jive, jive, jive. Things you encounter on live uh, podcasts, eh? Yeah, and I don't think this is it either. <laughs> Sony, Toshiba. <laughs> That's somewhere. That's right. We got a pig snout. All right. Now, he needs legs. Eyes, 
ears, tail. So I want to do all of that out of hollow, I think. Don't have to, I could do it out of solid, but if I use hollow, I can pour the pink print inside and everything will match and look lovely. So that's what I'll do, I'll just prep up another print. So first we put the plug in the bottom. some pink tubing. I'm just going to break this into pieces, which will be the legs. So I'm using my diamond jack shears, and they're just a, a crimping tool. So I've just crimped the glass a few times, and now I wiggle it until it snaps. Oh, I was about to say, and hopefully it snaps in the right place. Sometimes it don't. Got my heat pad ready, and I'll just break it off there. This heat pad is a lovely thing. It's made out of Kevlar. Gives you a few minutes of uh, a few minutes before you melt your melt your shit. We've got a little. Right, 
there. I just had to open it up again. The, uh, the hole has closed itself. Murphy's Law, it only happens when you're live on Pot TV, right? There we go. What's that we're smoking there? This is the blueberry grapefruit. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I love it. I've got a different flavor too, actually. I picked up some medicine from these guys. 420meds.ca. So I ordered that through the mail. Mandala 1. We got one rolled and we'll try that out. So, shout out to 420meds.ca. Check out their menu. Got some nice stuff there. All right, so. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Got some crackage here. Some raw pork crackage. God damn. But luckily, I've got enough pink tubing here, away from the crack. So when it these cracks, I generally just I slowly inch towards it with my flame, very slowly. Sometimes the crack will heal itself, sometimes it won't. But when it doesn't, I just tear that piece off, which is, which is what I'm going to do in this case, whether it heals itself or not. I don't need that much tube. So happy 420, I hope you're all enjoying your medicine, whatever that might be. If you want to tell me in the chat what you're smoking, I'm always curious. Love knowing what you're puffing on. Put her down. 
Get ahead, beware. Take time to look out for sweet marijuana frowns. I think really what they're talking about is the, the brown stuff. Stay away from the brown. Yeah, exactly. That's what they're talking about. Don't get the brick weed. <laughs> get the green. Say smoked chicken, I guess. 
So here we have a, a chicken piece. The chicken smoking. A nice joint. Can you see that, folks? Check out his eyes. Vagabond made the eyes for me. Great bubble action. Nice simple slide. Removable uh, nail section. And a removable downspout as well. Wow, custom fit. Pretty stoked on this one. This is what started the old barnyard bong shenanigans. <laughs> Easter egg coming out of his. Oh, oh, note the the green. Oh, sorry, the, the pink vent, which is technical term for his asshole. So he's got the pink down there. Easter egg egg. Pretty funny, eh? Had a lot of fun making this one. So now, let me show you what's gonna happen with this piece. Let me show you the section I built this morning. And we're gonna put this in the pig's hand, and the pig's gonna be smoking out of this mini bong. Now check that out. That is a one, two, three, four, five, six section bong at a whopping, what? Maybe two inches, eh? Let's say that's about two inches tall. Six section bong, all wigwagged and reversed. Pretty stoked on that. So the pig's gonna be holding that up with his one arm, and uh, yeah, see how this goes. All right, so I am going to apply two ears at this time, and I don't need to talk a whole lot while I do that. Should we play some music? Sure. Where are we playing it from? Play, play another track. Number three. Because I can't skip ahead. I'm on a 1989 DVD player. What is this song? Let's check. Oh, Simply Business. This is the title track. Yeah, right. You want to well, go on your own music award for this song. The best song I can do. Oh, and then I screwed it up trying to turn up the volume. Way to go, Julio. Where'd you go? Try this one. There you are. Can't skip back either. Alright, let's put some ears on. While the captains of industry, they run a big monopoly on everything but the birds and bees.
like a heart. Looks like a devil pig. We're gonna just flatten that out. Like so. Bam. Here. That does look like a pig here, doesn't it? Let's pause that. Or not. We didn't need to pause This it. is the song that Waterbell uses for Redeemer. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. All our shows, all our shows. We did a, we did a movie for Wi-Fi magazine. Well, how about See? a little drink then? Oh, yeah, we're touching this guy. I don't drink tequila, dry sand, I love this. I don't drink bourbon, dry this Durban. No thanks, Brandy. I'm this is the No gin and cola. Growing the hot bun. If you don't like puffin' and you situate your love, you can punch your body muffin with a job cake stuffin'. Job cake stuffin'. No sense, you're up. Job cake stuffin'. If you're tough, job cake stuffin'. No need to puffin'. Job cake stuffin'. When you can love me. If you don't like puffin' and you situate your love, you can punch your body muffin with a job cake stuffin'. Take this uh, icing knife and carve in a bloody grin. It makes it look so good. We'll just do the other side now. And maybe that's where I'll I can pop a hole here now to put the bomb coming out. So I just carved the side there, gave him a little bit of a grin. We could put a couple tusks there if I wanted to make them like that. I think that will just go with the 
do with what we've got. I'm pushing in the eye sockets a little bit. And a little puff out on the in-between part. Oh yeah, got his forehead out, see that? Bam! Looks good. Let's show the camera what we got so far. This little piggy ain't going to market. Actually, I just lied again. This little piggy would probably be available at the 420 market in Vancouver. So if you're going to be at the art gallery, I'm going to have my fleet of barnyard animals, whatever I can get ready by then, as well as a technical term here, a fuck ton of little Fritz boots. All right, well, I think we need some more music while I get some legs ready. Okay. What do you think? Sure. You got something in your head? Sure. What can I play? Uh, Lotus Blossom. On the spot. Awesome. Those are her words too. Yeah, there's another version called Lotus Blossom, but I, I believe I'm told that that uh, that uh, Michael Bublé recorded Lotus Blossom. Oh yeah. Well, it's the same too, but it says Lotus Blossom is the same marijuana. Ah. It's just like you know, you get too much black from the right now. Yeah, it's got to be code. Probably, right? What I was in high school, our code was what did we say again? I know for mushrooms it was pizza. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, got yeah, pizza. Yeah. I want to yeah. get a pizza. You want to order a pizza? Yeah, yeah. And uh, for herb, ah, uh, what is it? I know one time I was getting this uh, massive golden boy buds way back when I was in university in London. So I would say, how's, how's that gold? And he would bring it over. Or whatever. But it's funny, uh, nowadays I mostly just shake my head and in humor when people talk in code on the phone. Because, A, I'm sure if they wanted to listen in <laughs> on you, man, they probably got a satellite pointed right at you if they want you. Yeah. Who knows, right? But I think they got better things to do. Exactly. <laughs> That's kind of what I've always said. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If they're that interested yeah. in me just because yeah. I smoke reaper, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. oh, my God. Man. But anyway, maybe they were up to more than I do. You know? <laughs> I doubt it. There's an old dungeon in the basement. Who knows? So... I'm just making like, oh, there was a question on the chat about stickers. What, do I have stickers? Yes, I have stickers. Do I have a lot of stickers? Not a lot right now. I got to order more, but I will be bringing what I got. Maybe I'll get some more in before 420. So, um, yeah, there's, that's that answer. Can you get a sticker? If you mail me a self-addressed uh, stamped envelope, remember those days? The self-addressed stamped envelope days. Yeah, mail me one of those, I'll mail you some stickers. Or mail me a love letter and I'll mail you some stickers. <laughs> Something funny. It's gotta be good. I'll read it on the I'll read it on the show and mail you some stickers. I'm borrowing that from a friend of mine now. Uh, he's got an Indiegogo uh, campaign just ended this weekend. A crowdfunding campaign. He's a, a filmmaker, and his idea was to gain money. One of his prizes was he would write a drunken love letter. 
he was going to get drunk by himself Saturday night and then write love letters to the people who would give him 20 bucks. <laughs> Pretty funny. Era Ball, go check out his work. A R A B A L L. Era Ball, filmmaker. He just did a film called Le Pedophile. I'm sure it's in Quebec, Le Pedophile. But anyway, fucking awesome guy. So, what else do we got to talk about and do here today? Pretty excited about 420, that is quickly approaching. I will be at the art gallery, I will be there bright and early. I hope you can all come down and visit, and I hope if you're not in the West Coast, you are celebrating April 20th the way you want to. No new news on the glass gathering yet. All is good. The venue is getting prepared. I gotta go up there soon. Pop out Milner with some fencing. And those dates are July 4th, 5th, 6th. If you need information, you can contact me. There's a website, gcgg.ca. There is a rumor that the Tall Brothers would be playing there this year. I know, we're just waiting to hear if they'll fit into my budget. <laughs> we shall have to have some negotiations. Yeah, we'll yeah I would really love to get you guys up. Uh, get our agent to call you. Yeah, good. <laughs> Excellent. We will work out the terms and the currency. Okay, so let's start with his... Uh, uh, actually, I'm going to start with his back leg. And pigs don't have much in the way of fancy legs. They're just little uh, tapered little legs. Put on the hands now. Sweet. We got quite a few more tunes to play. I'm going to push play while I do this. So next we have the song. Oh, I think Jive Up. I like this one. Did it go? Technology. Job up. Of course, everyone knows job. Job up. Now we do. Job up. Keep yourself on top. Job up. Job up. Job up. Actually. Keep sure yourself on that. top. Say, Mr. Saxophone. What makes you play so soft and sweet? What makes you so in the groove? Makes me move my soul and the soul's of my feet. Jive up. Jive up. Jive up. Keep yourself on top. sticking straight out for now. So I just snipped his foot in half to give him the old cloven hook, you know. Let's get the other one going on. So one of my thoughts is he might sit up on his butt 
I'm not sure if he's going to stand or sit. It depended on the size of the little bong I'm going to put in his hand. So I'm thinking that's why I got that leg sticking straight out. I'm thinking of having him stick, sitting with his legs straight out. That'll help him sit up and then his tail coming out the back. We got Champs Expo coming up pretty quick here too. I've got a whole bunch of goblets to make for the prizes for that. I'm doing the cups for the TY Expo or the TY Cup. Oh yeah. Then the treating yourself cup. It's yeah. <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. Well, most people I know live there long enough. Yeah. So you're from Ontario too. You, remember you said your uh, your family farm was near London, right? Yeah, there's in town. Did you ever go like on the other side of London? We called the armpit of the world was a town called Arcona. Arcona. You ever drive through Arcona? It's kind of near Strathroy. Near you ever Strathroy. go that way? Okay, my sister Sharon lives in Strathroy. Strath I went to elementary school for a year in Strathroy. Oh, yeah. But anyway, uh, armpit of the world, right there. <laughs> Not much to do. Well, we always saw St. Thomas. Though. <laughs> and one of the stupid things that the city council did a number of years ago was they sold the municipal golf course to Walmart. Uh, okay, and this is this is the municipal golf course went back to like 1825 or something like that. And <clears throat> they sold it, sold it to you know just to pay off the bills, you know, sell them to <laughs> the city's only municipal golf course. Yeah. It had been there for like 175 years or something like that. Sold to Walmart. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, and the other the other claim to fame of St. Thomas is that's where Jumbo died. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. They, you know, they, they killed the the most famous elephant that ever lived and died died there in St. Thomas. Put him on the map for that. And then I think you know. He probably, probably didn't get as much publicity for selling the local golf course to the Walmart. So I got some back legs on, no, and those are not the final position, but they're looking all right. They're the right length anyway. And I think he's going to be sitting up like this, hold himself a bong. And I got to work this side in here yet. That shaping's not right yet. But let's get, oh, actually, I'll pop a hole and keep going. Shall we play another tune? Oh, I wanted to talk about. Uh, Artist of the week this week, actually, I'll mention that right now. I, again, I didn't get a lot prepared. Oh, there goes his face. Yeah, should have killed it longer. We'll see if I can work that out. And maybe I'll take this opportunity to chat more and then see if I can fix that. That might be unrepairable. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a deep crack. But anyway, enough about crack. <laughs> I wanted to mention uh, a friend of mine and an artist that's been really nailing it lately, uh, Braden Hammond, Skullfish Glass. I wanted to check out his work. Lately he's been putting out these Dabachino rigs that are just off the hook. Really nice glass and uh, stand up dude. So uh, check out Skullfish Glass is who I want to give a shout out to this week. Oh, it's a big chunk on the floor. And that's about all I got to say about that. Fuck, I just cracked the pig. We got a pig on crack in the kiln. <laughs> Let me show you the pig I made earlier today. Yeah, it's still cracking, I can hear it. Here's the pig I made earlier today. I did a clear pig, and you smoked out of his tail, 
and he's holding a pipe in his mouth. Can you see that? So this is the first pig I've ever made, right here. Hopefully you can see that. I'll put it on my black background. Perhaps you can see it better. Pretty fun stuff. Oink, oink. Nice little one hitter dry piece there. This piece is going to be a water pipe if I can, if I can get it done. So you got a good luck song to get me through this crack fixing? Uh, Should we push play? Push play, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Push play and smoke some of this Mandala from 420meds.ca. This one, Mandala, Mandala 1. Okay, I hope you enjoy this tune. We're coming, I think this is one of my favorite ones. Oh, it is. It's called I'm Kinda High.
So I'm using a very bushy flame. This is a good lesson for any of you glass blowers, you beginners out there. Believe me, you're going to crack some stuff. So the first thing you do when something cracks is you get a big bushy flame on it. Maybe even deposit some carbon. Really bushy. And what you're doing here is slowly heating the glass up and closing that crack. Now I'll go down to a pinpoint and voila, that part of the crack is gone. So now we'll move up here. So what we, we call this chasing the crack. So you start at one end and you're just going to work your way up. Change to a very fine needle nose, needle point uh, length. As long as you've pre-warmed it, never go in with the needle nose first. It'll, it'll really bust open. So see how I switched to a bushy flame again? I didn't think I'd fix this, man. <laughs> I thought it was history. Well, I'll tell you, I'm feeling good about it now. It's a very deep crack. It's, it's totally, uh, it's, a, it's as bad as it gets. Yeah, well, I that stuff, you probably, you know, I mean, in the skilled hands, there's still, like, you know, 50-50 chance. Or whatever, right? uh, better than that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I just I've done a lot of crack, I guess. But I mean, it's, it's I've done a lot of cracking. I've never done crack. I'm sure that I'm sure that you go through a lot of glass making you know the finished product. I used to when I first began, and actually that's not very true either. Because I learned how to fix the cracks, I'd say pretty much ninety. 5% of okay. all the glass I've ever made, so no, 99. I really didn't break or fuck up much at all. Voila! I fixed the fucking crack. Alright! It's totally gone. And there the lucky go. thing is with Frit, you often leave a crack mark. Same with if you've got silver fume on a piece, you often see that. And actually that is where I shrinked it there. It's kind of defined his head a little more. I think I'm going to continue that line of shrink. So all I'm doing is heating it up and letting the glass slightly collapse here. See that? It's just defining his his neck a little bit. Pigs don't have much of a neck. <laughs> there. I don't know if I like that. I think I'll pump it back out a little. A little too indeed. But anyway, we got the crack out. Stoked on that. There we go. Now let's add the other two legs. And then we can add the bong to his mouth and hold that in his legs. Sometimes I puff smoke through just for the hell of it. <laughs> smoke pig. All right, so his front leg's gotta go, oh actually right about here. What I did last time, what I did wrong last time was I was not keeping the piece warm enough in the flame. So I'll try to do a better job of that. And I'm going to uh, 
bend over. I'll just use some tweezers. I'm gonna bend him at the uh, at his pig elbow. And I'm just imagining him holding the uh, bomb that'll come right down here. So it needs to come up quite a bit. All right. So now the whole pig is not hot. If anyone sees me eating up this part, I want you to warn me in the chat or something. <laughs> don't, on mental note, don't heat up the body of the pig again. It's very important that I stay away from that spot. Just making his little hooves. And I think I can pull his whole leg a lot more forward. Just heating this side up. So this is the first pig smoking a bong ever done on Fox TV. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> I think I'm pretty safe in that one. For sure. Alright, popping the hole for the fourth leg. Looking good. All right, I'm going to put this in the kiln and I'm going to let that sit for five minutes because that's what I got to do. It needs soap, so that means I get to have a medical break, another safety meeting. Let's check our time. We're over an hour. <coughs> Let me show you the sketch again and show you what I'm going to do and maybe we'll just wrap up the show and I'll get to keep working on this. We'll see. So basically, I'm not a very good drawer. The pig is going to be holding a bong in his hands. Let me show you the bong I've made up. Where are you, little bong? This is the little bong. It's green, yellow, and red. Rasta pig. And uh, so that's the little bong he's going to be holding, smoking out of his uh, snout there. And then uh, this, I'm going to I'll put a little thing in here so it'll actually hold a little bit of water. And then you'll be smoking out of his tail is, uh, is my thought. So that's the plan. This is what the pig looks like so far. Oh, I don't think we even got to wait five minutes. It's not that thick. I generally wait one minute per millimeter. And if you got any questions in the chat, now's a good time. Shout it out. I'll see if you got anything interesting to say. Is there such thing as a stupid question? <laughs> yes, there it is. Let's see. Red Beard does it again. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, you can hear a child in the background. That's, that's Bill Small's little guy back here. That's Willie Starfire. That's Willie Starfire. He's really cool. And his lovely partner, Sen, is in the house as well. Behind camera. Wonderful people in our community. Hey, did I finish that chicken? What, did you just join us, I guess? Let's pull out the chicken from last week's episode. Da, da, da. The funky chicken. The baked chicken. Smoked chicken. Easter egg out its ass chicken. So this is all hollow and I think if I were to make any changes perhaps next time I'll use solid for the toes. Hollow down to the feet still I think. And uh, yeah, the wings are hollow too. It's kind of a neat trick doing hollow stuff. It also reduces the weight. I wanted to keep it not so top heavy. Anyway, I'm pretty happy about this piece. It's my first animal, really. I don't do animals. I don't do the uh, character bongs. It's all new to me. Oh, this is a little Millie I made myself. It's a wigwag Millie, a yellow and white. I made it custom for this fella. Let's see if I can get it even closer. That was for uh, a custom pull for English. Anyway. Excellent. Put it way over here so I don't break it. With flying debris. And uh, I think I'll play another song on the CD, pull this out of the kiln, and attach another leg. Let's see if we can't get to attaching that bong. That was my goal for today's show. I think we're going to meet it.
How are you feeling? It's just about there. Just about there. I'm kind of high. You're kind of high. So let's see what's next on that CD. I really like this CD. Let's show them what it's called. Ah, oh, Simply Business. It's all brothers. And uh, there's a there's you, man. Next up, I think. Oh yeah, Viper's Ball. It's kind of like what you sang to us earlier. Bill wrote the words.
out. Not very good. I'm making the pig's tail now.
TV. Go upstairs and say hello to the crew at the Paper Lounge. And uh, if you need a, any good glass, they've got you covered. So don't forget to check out my website, redbeardglass.ca. And check out the gathering website at gcgg.ca. That's about all I got for you this week. I'm going to finish off this pig. He's going to join the chicken. If you got any more thoughts, I'm going to keep on the barnyard theme for a bit. We've got six baby goats that are just dying to be made out of glass. Well, they're living to be made out of glass. So, uh, cheers! Thanks, Abe. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Bill. See you later.
see you all next week.